like a colander kind of a thing. Only a, that might be good for like washing strawberries, huh? If you want a bowl of strawberries? What do you think? I don't think we want to use something from a thrift store <laughs> for food. Really? Do you know how many of our things came from the thrift store that you're using? All of our dishes. Literally. Ew. All of our dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's just had an epiphany. <laughs> well, I am back in San Diego puppy sitting. Yes, puppy sitting. Jordan went on a little trip with her boyfriend and Rachel and I are with, oh my gosh, the puppy is now what, 11 or 12 weeks old? She's at that really kind of rotten puppy stage. <laughs> like she wants to bite and do all that stuff. Anyway, I went off on a tangent. So we are at one of my very, very favorite little thrift stores here in San Diego that we almost never get to go to because they have very short hours. They're only open for four hours. Mm, only like three days a week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I think it's the only time they're open. Um, so we're here, we made it after getting our nails done. So <laughs> we just had a little, little girl's time getting our nails done and we're getting ready to do our jewelry live sale which we will have already done by the time you see this but we we did that on Friday uh, but we're just gonna go hang out and have some fun and do a little filming for you and Rachel is on the hunt for briar horses. say that a little louder briar horses briar horses and I'm on the hunt for great stuff to resell <laughs> so let's get in there and see what goodies they have today Okay, we are at Assistance League of Greater San Diego. One of my very, very favorite spots. So let's go inside and see what goodies they have today. All right, so we got, ooh, necklaces, yay. Sweaters, clear, beverage, glassware, pillows. Oh, look at that, how pretty is that? Right off the bat, huh? That's a nice... It does not have a price tag. This... Oh, you don't know if that's for sale? Right. All right. You want to grab us a basket, Rachel? Thank you. There we go. I've got a little... I found a little swan. He's a swan, right? He's a little swan for $3. He's got... Oh, he's got a little... Little signature on the side there. I'm not quite sure what that says. We'll figure it out because it's probably under this tag too. But look at the. Oh, she found a matching swan. That one's more like a dish, like a net dish, huh? How much is that one? No tag. It's not priced. Do you like that one? Should we find out how much that one is too? Okay, we'll put these in the cart. And then look at this guy. <gasps> Ooh, look at him. I think I'm in love. He's a beautiful art glass penguin. I know he's a penguin. He's an art glass penguin. He's not a Murano art glass penguin. He's just a cool art glass penguin. And he's only $6. So we'll pick him up. All right. I love this shop. Every time I come here, I find such great things. What's this by? The Butter Pottery, 1996. That's really cute. I think I like that for $5. Let's get that. I found some birds. What kind of birds are those? Move your hand so we can see it. I mean, they look like lovebirds. They could be lovebirds. Do they look like lovebirds? Yeah. Yeah. Is that? It's kind of roughly that's made. That's dirt, yeah. I think. It's just yucky. Yeah, I think we could clean that up. How much is it? I keep 
Oh, there it is. I don't know how You're reading it upside down. It's probably easier if you read that price tag right side up. Four dollars. Four dollars. <laughs> I think we'll get it. Let me see it again. Just hold it. Move your hand a little bit. There we go. No, it's fine. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're good. Yep. So these are really cute. These are made in Czechoslovakia. Little teacups and saucers. Two, four, five, six. There are six. It's always nice to have a set of six. They are $3 each. I think we'll go ahead and pick those up. And this one I'm not as excited about, so we'll leave that one. But I like those. All right, we're on a roll now. We are on a roll. That looks like a Jim Shore, doesn't it? It is a Jim Shore. Yeah. What are, oh, it's like a little Hummel crystal girl. Oh, I wish there was two of those little yeah. black stem. Those are really pretty. And this is all 50% off, right? This yeah. is the clear beverage wear. So crazy. You can feel that glass and just, yeah. it's newer glass. When you touch the older glass, you're going to be able to tell the difference. So pick that up and feel it because I want you to be I able did. to learn the difference. See, it just feels new just feels new and then this is older glass feel the difference in that yep but just because it's old doesn't mean it's valuable so it's learning all that little the nuances I really like this face are those I always forget of those there's not cherry blossoms it's the the white ones are dogwood I think they're dogwood blossoms. You know what? It's okay. I don't know either. Why would I know? Somebody in the comments is gonna tell me. That's a pretty bowl. It's pottery. It is signed. Who's it signed by? Can we even read that? Got it? See if you can figure that out. She's really cute. I have no idea. Can't figure it out? The Ellie. Is Ellie. Either Ellie or Ebby. Oh wait, that could be Ebby. Ebby Dots. Oh man, I want to figure it out now. You know what? For five bucks, we're going to get it and we're going to figure it out. All right, we got more teacups and I got to check out the dragonware here. Sometimes if you hold them in the light, there might be a little lithopane under there, but these do not have one. These are just clear bottom ones. Rachel's looking at it too. And it does have a mark. You want to show that mark on the bottom? Turn it over again. What mark? What does the mark say? It looks like it's been rubbed off. That one's been rubbed off. Let's see if the other one has been. Nope, that one's better. Made in Japan. TT made in Japan. So this these are cool. these are five dollars each. And I think we will pick those up too. Here, put that one back under there. Because it makes a prettier picture. There we go. Boom! We're gonna get this. I'm just gonna peek at what these are. They're like just some nice little stoneware. Oh, they're not marked. They're pretty. They have a really nice, clean look to them. What is this one? This is Taylor and Kent. This is transferware. And it's a, like a polychrome transferware, as opposed to just like a red or a blue or a brown. It's got multiple colors, which actually is really nice. And then these are little, little tea cozies, Royal Worcester. I tend to not pick those up. It is, but I, I tend to not pick up the tea cozies for some reason, and I don't know why. They just don't excite me. I'm kind of digging this teacup, though. I kind of think we're going to get that teacup. I like the teacup. All right. 
got a really nice teapot here with the bamboo handle. That's really pretty. I don't do a lot with, with teapots though. A nice enamel piece of cookware. With the little frosted stems. Yeah, those are nice. You can put candles in those. They're not so much for drinking, they're to put candles in. And those would be really pretty with the little different multi-levels, huh? Yeah. Let's go around the post here. I saw some cobalt blue. Again, doesn't super excite me. All right. Some nice shelves of stuff. Huh, the little fish. These are actually like really cute. Oh, they're party light. Who knew? This is just a little candle holder. Purple. Anything else, Rachel, that I should be looking at? It is kind of cool. It's cute. It's a really pretty box. You want to open it for me? Oh, it's got sections in it. What would those sections be for? That's really nice. Is this just a box or is it for something specific? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. But it's a really nice box. Can you lift it? Could it be like a jewelry box? It could. You want to lift it up and look at the bottom for me? Let's close it, latch it, okay? And then pick it up and let's see the bottom. It's just a nice, almost, I think it's cherry wood. It's got a few little dings on it. But for $8, I think that's a really good buy. Do you think that's a really good buy, Rachel? Okay, let's get it. This is a really cute little, you know what that is? It's for sewing. It's a sewing box. And you would put all your little sewing things in here. That's even got the little trays. That's cool. That is cool, isn't it? Yeah. What a great little piece. You don't have to use it as a sewing box. You can use it for whatever you want. Paint stuff. You <laughs> just to put stuff in? Yeah. Paint brushes here. Paint. She's saying paint stuff. She's always thinking about painting. It is cute. But it's seventy dollars. Oh. We could probably come up with better, more affordable things to store your paints in. But I like the way you think. Look at these little spoon paintings. Can you see those? Those are so cool. And then these guys, look at those. Oh. And then we've got really big, really big Toby mugs up here. Look at those. I find those kind of creepy. You find those kind of creepy? I'm sure you're not the only one. I'm sure many people will agree with you. We're gonna we're gonna look at a couple things in this case, I think. Rachel, tell me about it. It's pretty, but it doesn't have a signature. You sure? I don't. That's not one. a little signature down there. I don't. No. Think so. How about on the back? No. It might be. It could be a signature on the canvas underneath there. It's original. It is an original. You can feel the paint. Is it well done? I think so. What do you think? Is it worth 10 bucks? Maybe. Do you want that to be one of your finds? Is that a yes? <laughs> She's blinking her eyes. She's flashing her eyelashes at me. Okay, this can be one of your finds. So these are Warren Stratford figures. She's going to go look for briars. She's leaving me. My daughters always ditch me. Um, Warren Stratford. Really cute. And I did pick up the two spoon paintings for $4 each. Got 50% off selected framed artwork. So let's see what we have here. Oh, I like that one. It's like it's, it's a print, but the colors are really nice. It's a vintage print. 
with a really nice subject matter and it would be only six dollars so i'm gonna pick i'm gonna pick that one up through here see what else that's kind of interesting white winged crossbill that's uh looks like a little kind of a needle point oh there's several of them of these birds those are kind of nice that is signed and numbered nine of 16. Hmm, let's take a closer look at that. The Fawn's Salt. The Gay and Joe. Interesting. Interesting. She came back empty of briars. This does have some water damage on the back. So it's had some water damage. So it would have to come out of this frame. It'd be $12.50. What do you think of this? It's like an ink, right? It's nice. It is numbered number only 9 of 16 but I don't know who the artist is. But it's only $12.50. Do you think we can take a chance? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Rachel says yes. We're going to get it. All right, and then we've got a bunny. This one is also signed and numbered. Brooke, Brooke Morrison. It is 142 of 200. Mopsy is the name of this one. I don't know. This one's not exciting me. Watch that, watch that be like the million dollar, you know piece of art. I did see the birdies. They do not excite Baby. me though. They excite you. I know you love the birdies. Baby. Okay. Done with the art for now. These are kind of cool, huh? Where are these? Tabletops gallery. Chicken. Paisley. Chicken. chicken. Let's just chicken. admire the chicken. The chicken. chicken. Ooh. Apple. I like this little birdhouse. I do like that little birdhouse with a little copper roof. roof. Oh, it opens up too. Oh, look, open it up right there. Here, I'll hold it. Open it up, let's see what it does. Nope, <laughs> okay, should open now. Pull the lid open. Oh. <laughs> She's like, huh? Look at that, it opens up. Oh. It's a little box. That's very sweet. That is very sweet. It's five dollars. What do you think? I think that's worth five dollars. You think it, it's very, very well painted. It's all hand painted. I think we should get it. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Let's grab that one. Oh my gosh, she's pretty fantastic. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Look at all her stuff. Home. Home. Bread. I don't know what that says. Homebred something by Jay Gill. That is fantastic. That would be really hard to ship though. But she is pretty fantastic. Okay. We always find the greatest goodies in this shop at the greatest prices. I'm telling you, this is my favorite thrift store in the San Diego area by far. I like this. That is brown drip stoneware, I believe. No, maybe it's not stoneware. It's just pottery. And there's a couple of different companies. This is made by Ultima, so it's not even one of like the oldest of the companies. I think like McCoy and Hull and a few of them made this. Oops, and that lid doesn't go on there real good. But I find it interesting that you liked it. That's what I find interesting. I like that color of red. Okay. Is this like a straining bowl? Is that what you would do with that? That looks like it. Like a colander kind of a thing? Only a, That might be good for like washing strawberries, huh? You want a bowl of strawberries? <laughs> what do you think? I don't think we want to use something from a thrift store <laughs> for food. <laughs> really? Do you know how many of our things came from the thrift store that you're using? All of our dishes. Literally. Ew. All of our dishes. <laughs> Rachel's just had an epiphany. 
Okay, I know. You guys are like, are you not gonna look at the salt glaze canister jar thing? This says Rumtopf. Rumtopf. I'm not sure what Rumtopf is. I know it'll be easy to, oh, that just seems like a really good price for such a large salt glazed jar. I mean, it's missing the lid, that's the thing. It is missing a lid. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I'm not sure what to do on this one. I'm gonna think about this one. Rachel just spotted this plate. I was looking at the birds and Rachel is going for the glass. Check that out. It's pressed. Yeah, it is pressed. It's, it's, it's a crystal, it's pretty, but you can feel, is it new or old? New. New, there you go. She's learning. Yeah, pretty birds. Very pretty birds. Framed really nice too. These are older prints. They are $20 a piece. So I think we're gonna pass on those because we have so much art. Oh, but look, more teacups. Who's done these? These are Maito. I don't do real well with that brand. Did you just hear Rachel go, ooh? What did Rachel find? Oh, look at it. It's signed and numbered. 26 out of 200, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's got a little bit of water damage. Is that on the frame? Is that on the, the matting? I it doesn't look like that's on the print itself, does it? I don't know. What do you think? How much is it? That's on the frame, yeah. And, uh, do you think that's, do you think you have resale value in there at $10? That's a, that's a lot for you to spend because your budget is only about 20 bucks. Would you rather wait and find something else? Let's see the back. Can't we look it up? It's mm. metal. Or, oh. No, that's not, is that metal? It is metal. That's, turn it back over. Let me see. Yeah, but it's, looks like paper under there. It's very odd. It, it looks like it's the water damage on a frame. I'm leaning towards no because of the damage. I'm just saying. Okay. That would be me. You get to make your own choice. Can we look it up? Noritake. Art is sometimes really difficult to look up, but we'll give it a quick check. Okay, so we decided to pass on that because Rachel's resources are a little on the low side, but you can see she's really drawn to the art. Oh, it's, there's a little map of Africa in here, and then you got the animals. That's, that's very well done. Rachel, you definitely have an eye for art. I'm so impressed. I'm so artist. impressed. You are an artist, I know. There's a reason you're an artist, because you have a really good eye for art. That's just fabric. Are these like knitting needles? Those are knitting needles. They absolutely are. What's that? Quilt simply. Oh. Bunnies and oh, she found bunnies and duckies. Oh, they're all tied together. Oh, they're napkin rings. They're very nice. How much are they? As I like them too. I have they're very similar to some bird ones that I've got. Six. They're four dollars for six of them. So they're really cute. Those would probably sell for ten to fifteen dollars. So again, probably not a great investment to make your money go as far as you need it to go right now. Is that? It's got a bird on it, and it's got a bird on it there. And it's signed by somebody. Is that a, that's a bird. I think. I know it kind of looks like a dinosaur, but I think it's supposed to be a bird. <laughs> it does look like a looks like a the dinosaur bird waiting to eat the small bird taking the bath. Watch the tragedy unfold. <laughs> it's uh it's kind of interesting. It looks like a handcrafted, you know, kind of soldered together kind of job. I don't know how I feel about that. It is five dollars. They're calling it an antique Middle East ashtray. Huh. 
I don't know. I don't know. I almost need to get it just because it's so weird. Let's get it. This was this was here when I was here at Christmas time, and I contemplated it. What are you finding over there? A whole bunch of these little houses. Oh. Well, and who are they by? They're A H. A H. We don't know who A H is. Typically, I find these, and they're not really worth much more than about five dollars. Some of them do okay, but that's about the right price. They are cute, aren't they? And, and she found a sand castle. These are made from real sand. Oh. You didn't feel that? Feel it. I did. I That's real it sand. Fake. It's not fake. They make those from real sand. What's that plate right below? That's kind of pretty. And then what's that plate right there? Ooh. Is that a Korok? What is that? Is that worn out or is it supposed to be abstract like that? Because it is a Korok and it is in really good condition, but it seems like there was more of a design there that's, or is it, I don't know. To me, it looks like it's supposed to be abstract. You think it's just an abstract kind of a, well, for $3, you know what? We're going to get that one for sure. Let me see this one. This is just a, just a, it's, it's plastic. It's really pretty though. Oh, this has a horsey on it and you didn't even see it. Hanover Shashashom something. It's got a mark and it's porcelain and it's only three dollars. So let's pick that up. What? It's like, it has a birdie. It has a birdie. Are there any, anything in it? Open, open. It's just like a little recipe card. Ooh. You know, that might that might do well in the live sale. It's got a lot of people who like little birdies and they like little recipe box holder type stuff. Do you want that to be one of your items? Yeah? It's $4. It's $4. You're doing good. Can I see it? Nice. Oh, we have a bigger version of that wood tray right there. Does that say daily bread on it? What does that one say? Can't make it out. Oh, turn it over. No, you're reading it upside down. There we go. Give us this day our daily bread. It's a daily bread wood plate. We already have one. Much larger. These are kind of interesting. Very heavy though. Let's see. Oh, they are signed. They're something students. Made by students. Hmm. What else did you find? Oh, yeah. This is give us this day daily bread, but it's not wood. Right. They're, that's then, pewter. This one is different. Comfort thy heart with a morsel of bread. Those are cool, but they're pretty common. Oh, look at the Trivial Pursuit coasters. Trivial Pursuit coasters. Those are awesome. Oh, we must have, we must have. All right, mud pie. Oh, it's just an empty. Just an empty. Cute little basket. Trying to be just a little pickier now. That looks like Limoges. It is Limoges. Castel Limoges. For one dollar? You know what? We'll pick that up for one dollar. Sure. It's kind of pretty. I always look and see who done this. Oh, they're clay art. They're clay art. I also have to look and see if I ever want to like change out my dishes. So very pretty too. Oh, they're Laura Ashley. Look at that. Sophia by Laura Ashley. We got these pretty things here. Priced them at $95. And they're showing you what they go for on the Pottery Barn site. $250 sconces. 
for $95. And they have three of them. She's very nice. Myrtle wood. She's $10 for the Myrtle wood angel. I really like her. I think we're going to pick her up. What a beautiful set of Norataki. This 1940s Norataki. There's your mark on the bottom. I just love the color of this. So it's a creamer, sugar. There's five teacups. There's no saucers. And then there's the little dessert plates. And it's 30 for the whole set which is really good I just don't do a lot with dishes so we'll leave that but I wanted to give it an honorable mention so this is cast iron and it is heavy with the eagle on it like that's the match striker on the side I don't know which it's probably maybe whatever it needs to hang it so it does have a regular screw and not a Phillips screw so it is older although I don't think it's antique by any stretch but it is vintage this is inside of it. Oh, yep, the screws for hanging it. It's super heavy though. Super heavy. And it's 15. I think we're gonna pass on that, but that's really cool. Grapes. It's not a very big bunch of grapes. So we're gonna leave that one. Look what I found. Look what I found. Grab it. It's sugared fruit. I like you. Sugared fruit. How much is that bag? Let's find the price. Six, Six dollars for the sugared fruit. All of these. Yes, please. She wants me over there, but see if my brain mushes around too much. I've got to look at like stuff kind of a little bit in order, or I get really discombobulated. But I think it's cut. I'm coming. It's right there. I'll be right there. I'm coming. Like right now. <laughs> this one, this cut. Okay, which one? Cut. Is it cut? <gasps> You're right. It does feel cut. It's not American Brilliant though. It's not the sharp, sharp, sharp cut, but it is cut glass. You're correct. So and this is pressed. Right? Good eye. And this is, yep, that's absolutely pressed. You got it. You got it. Oh, hello, my pretty. You don't have a price, and you're broken. Okay, we'll leave you. I like this. I found a little honey bottle for 50 cents. Do you want that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's fine right there. Nobody's going to take it. Birdies. She always spots the birds. Always spots the birds. Pretty birds. This one. I wonder if this one had a, or maybe they're just supposed to be that way. Just got a little confused there. They are limited edition series. Looks like Lepton. It doesn't say Lepton, but it's got the Lepton numbers on it. Birdies. Oh, and she found glasses with, those are really cool glasses with little frosted birds on them. Now those I really like. But there's a bug inside of that one. But there's a bug inside? Well, they won't charge you extra for the bug. It's okay. I don't like the bug. I but should we get those? Because those are really yeah. neat. Let's get the birdie glasses for $3 each. Is there anything else here that we can't live without? Um, Nothing's really calling me. I mean, I like I like this and it is Regal Regal Imports Germany. It's pretty. I like these. Yeah, those are the stained, they're stained color on there. It's not actually the color of the glass, so I tend to stay away from those because they scratch super easy. Yeah. But I like that you like them. I like the, the color. Last time I was here, I bought a ton of jewelry. And what did they say? All necklaces are half price. So we're going to give the jewelry a really, really good look through and probably pick up several pieces because they get some really nice quality jewelry here. Like, look at that. It's beautiful. 
Ooh. Or 25% off, sorry. 25% off, so I love. We do, yes. Definitely gonna wanna see some stuff. There's dolphins. <laughs> you saw them at the same time. Okay, we just totally wiped out the jewelry section and I got some absolutely amazing pieces again. Um, they always have beautiful jewelry here and they have great prices and lots of it was on sale today too. So I will be showing that at a different time. I can't show you piece by piece in the recap that I do here, but trust me, I will show you everything and it will be in my jewelry live sale. So be just be watching for the previews of the jewelry live sale and you'll be able to see those. Now, Rachel has something and if you've followed our road trip journeys, you know she's got a thing for these chickens. And I think she just acquired another one. Or three. What, what's this one's name going to be? I don't know. We don't know yet. We have to name the chicken. Would you like them to give you some suggestions in the comments? Rachel would like some suggestions for her new chicken's name in the comments. Now remember, her other chicken is Chancy. So now we have this girl who needs a name. Hold her still. <laughs> She's a manic chicken. All right, we have to collect our, our little stash here and go check out. I think we did pretty good. You think we did pretty good, Rachel? Yeah, you're gonna carry the, you're gonna carry the small one. All right, we'll let you know what our total is. Okay, these are your necklaces in here. Okay. three hundred and seventy eight dollars and about two hundred of that was jewelry like just you know they have those little trays that you fill up with jewelry I filled up three of them did I fill up three of them yeah three of them she's nobody can see your chicken nobody can see your face nobody can see your chicken there's this is the new chicken 
This is the one that needs the name. So we're gonna let you guys pick out names down in the comments. And Rachel's going to pick a name from the comments. She's gonna let you guys name the new chicken. <laughs> and she said that I can sell the little patchwork one now. She made a trade for me to pay for this. Well, I'll take that trade. Okay, so you guys, I, I couldn't show all the jewelry because there was just too much going on. There was three cases of jewelry that they had. And I guess of the four days a week that they're open, this was the first day and we got here really early. So they just stocked everything. We are super happy <laughs> with all of the purchases. Um, this, I, I, well, you saw the recap, you know, the money there is to be made when a thrift store prices things right. They know I'm a reseller. They were perfectly fine with that. In fact, encouraged me to do well with things. And that right there is going to make for a successful thrift store. I'm just telling like they know who their customers are and they were super busy because their prices are good. And uh, I, it's just a great business model for a thrift store. And I will always be back to this thrift store when I can get here during their open hours. Um, so super excited. So with that, I'm gonna get home and get this stuff dealt with and sort some jewelry because I have a live sale. As I'm filming this, I have a live sale tomorrow um, and we gotta get that ready. And so with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.